Welcome sa zip9.com. In this video, tutuloy natin yung ating series on multiplication of integers. No? Uh, pangalawang video na tayo and uh, dun sa unang video ay napag-aralan natin yung rules. No? Uh, pag parehong positive ang minumultiply, ang sagot ay positive. Pag parehong negative, ang sagot ay positive. Tapos pag magkaiba sila regardless of the order, palagi siyang negative. No? Ito ay rules kung dalawang numbers or kung dalawang integers yung minumultiply mo. No? But uh, of course, um, paano kung more than 2 na? No? Halimbawa, um, um, for example, number 1, what is 6 times 4 times negative 2? Okay. So, meron dalawang ways yan, no? kasi ang ano naman, or more than one way ang pwede natin gawin. Pwede natin gawin is we can work from uh, left to right. So, dito muna tayo. 6 times 4 is 24. So, that is equal to 24. 24 times negative 2. O, mag magkaiba na tayo ng sign. Dito pareho kaya positive 24. And then, 24 times negative 2, magkaiba na tayo ng sign. So, magiging, uh, magkaibang sign, magiging negative. Yung sagot natin. So, this is negative 40. Or pwede rin. No, this is uh, method 1. Now for method 2, we also have, we can also do it, unahin natin ito, to, magiging 6 times, what is uh, negative, or what is 4 times negative 2? 6 times negative 8, which is equal to 6 times negative 8 is also negative 48. Okay, so actually regardless of the order, pareho lang yan kasi alam natin that uh, commutative ang, ano, di ba, ang, ang uh, multiplication, any order, Pag minultiply nyo, pareho lang yung magiging sagot yan. So, pwede rin yung unahin nyo muna yung negative 2 tsaka yung 12. Ay, yung 6, magiging negative 12 plus 4, uh, times 4, sorry. Times 4, still negative 48 yung magiging sagot nyo. No? So, regardless of the order, pareho magiging sagot yan. Hindi yan katulad ng, uh, ng uh, division o ng subtraction na hindi pwedeng balik ta rin, no? So, number 2, we have uh, 12 times... Uh, negative 3 times negative 1. So, so, pag may pareho tayong negative, pwede na natin pagparisin yan, di ba? Kasi magiging positive yung automatic, di ba? Ang dalawang yan. So, magiging 12 times, what is negative 3 times negative 1? This is 3, di ba? Which is equal to 36. Okay. And the number 3, we have uh, negative 4 times negative 2 times negative 7. Okay? So, bakit tayo parenthesis? Uh, sa algebra, usually hindi na tayo gumagamit ng ganitong sign. No? So, dapat pag-aralan din natin yung ganitong notation. So, pag ganitong notation, ibig sabihin yan, uh, if you have a parenthesis or we have parenthesis signs, and then we have no uh, we have no operation in between. Wala tayong sign dito, walang plus, walang minus, walang times, uh, walang divide. Ibig sabihin niyan, multiplication niyan. So this is negative 4 times negative 2 times negative 7. Which is equal to, pwede natin itong unahin. So magiging negative 4 times uh, negative 2 is 8 times negative 7. It's equal to negative. 56. Uh, kung mapapansin ninyo, ang pag pinaris natin yung dalawang yan, magiging positive. Tapos pag ang positive number, minultiply natin sa negative number, ay magiging negative siya. Kaya alam na natin yung magiging sign kahit hindi pa tayo yung multiply. No? And lastly, we have number 4. We have uh, negative 3 times negative 10, times negative 2, times negative 4. Laki-lakihan natin ang konti para medyo may challenge. Okay? So, pag ang dalawang positive number, pag ang dalawang negative number, pinagparis mo magiging positive. So, magiging positive rin yan. Ang product nito is positive. I-multiply mo sa product nito which is positive. Then, the product is 
the final product mga apat na numbers or the product of four numbers is a positive. So, wala, wala na tayo paproblemahin bawat, bawat isang pair na negative, pareho negative, positive na siya, di ba? So, 30, this is 30 times this is 16. No? So, this is 480. Positive siya. So, kung napapansin nyo, meron tayong uh, pwedeng iparis na no? pag meron tayong dalawang negative na nakikita dun sa given, dun sa minimultiply natin, makikita natin that pwede na natin yung pair para maging positive. Ibig sabihin, pag even number of negatives, pag ang negative mo, even number 2, 4, 6, 8, positive yung magiging sagot mo. Pag add numbers, na like this one, we have 3 negative numbers, then the answer will be negative. Okay? So, I think that's it for multiplication. Uh, magkakaroon pa tayo siguro ng uh, part 3. No? So, uh, siguro mga 2 examples lang or 3 examples para ma-illustrate lang natin yung pairing. No? Maraming salamat. Uh, gusto kayong uh, invite sa zipnayan.com yung ating uh, website. And of course, you can uh, subscribe to us on YouTube uh, para ma-inform kayo pag may bago tayong videos. Maraming salamat. See you in the next tutorial.